guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really fun and really exciting and a little different. I actually have a couple unboxings for you guys today. So I'm just going to jump right in. I have three separate little bookish things. So without further ado, I'm just going to do it. I found all three of these shops from Instagram. So I will of course be linking their websites and their Instagram accounts down in the description so that you can find them and check them out if it is something that you might be interested in. So the first one I'm going to start with is actually from Bibliophile Prints and she originally started off as an Etsy um, page and store and then exciting news she actually uh, launched her own website at the 1st of January so it is Bibliophileprints.com and I have bought from her before, I've talked about her bookmarks before, and I absolutely adore her work. Most of the stuff that I get from her is Disney characters just because they're so cute and I love what she does. So I can't exactly remember what this one is. I bought from her, like, I kept buying back to back because the thing with her is get what you want when you see it, especially with her website now up because she doesn't restock. Um, as fast as, like, she only makes a couple of each of the bookmarks, and then it takes her a while, of course, to restock just because she has so many other bookmarks that, to draw, to create, and she's always putting out new bookmarks. So if you see something that you like, get it. So I ordered, like, six different things, six different times from her in, like, the span of a couple weeks. So I have a bunch of packages coming in. So let's open it. Alright. So the first thing in here. Oh, yes, I forgot I got this. So each month, if you buy from her, you get a exclusive um, bookmark. Like a um, fancy, a freebie kind of thing. And it's 1 through 20. And it's laminated. That's so nice. So I'm excited to use this. I know it says, Alicia, thank you so much for your order. Enjoy your bookmarks, Erin. So it's a note, so sweet. Ooh! It is a business card and it is very pretty. Ooh, nice. Please use this coupon for 15% off your next order of $10 or more. Nice. You know I be using that. You know it. Okay. So the actual bookmarks, oh yes, I forgot I got these. Alright, so number one is Kiss the Girl with Ariel and Prince Eric. They're so perfect, I absolutely love them. I'll definitely see more unboxings from Miss Erin because I have a problem. So thank you so much Erin and I'm so so excited to use these. The next package that I'm going to be unboxing is from the Letters Lit and th this is so cool because what they do is every month, um, actually no she just changed it. You can do month to month or you can buy past boxes. It's just the coolest thing. I will show you and everybody will want it and everybody will love it. Inside, oh it's so perfect. Ooh, it smells so good. So this is the letter. It's sealed and it's perfect and I don't want to break it but I have to. So it opens. I seriously just cannot get over how good this smells. And I actually know what is in this um, since I am following her and I'm actually following quite a few of her reps as well. I have seen spoilers, but I knew I just had to have this particular letter because there are so many fancy things in there and I'm so excited to get it. And it smells so good. So, I'm done talking about that. The first thing I'll pull out is this blue ribbon. And I can't remember, but I feel like there is a ribbon in every one of her letters. I think. 
Uh, the next thing I'm going to pull out. Yes, it's so cute. Okay. It's just like a paper clip type thing. Take it and you clip it on your book to keep your page. And it's in the shape of a letter, which you've already seen, but it's still so cute. The next thing is... Oh, this is so cute. It is an orange. So it's a notepad, but if you twist it like this, it becomes an orange that I can't get to stay together. You get the idea. It becomes an orange. And I, this is so cute. I'm definitely going to use this. I'm going to keep it on my thing. It's so cute. Ooh. This is what smells good. I, the next thing is bath tea with spa salts. You use a drop in the tub. Ooh. The ingredients are dead sea salt. Chamomile flowers, lemongrass, orange peel, rose petals, hibiscus flowers, lavender essential oils. And this is from Cindy Soaps, and it's made at Dwarf Hollow Farmstead and sold on Etsy. I'll have to find them. It smells really good. I can smell the chamomile and the lavender. It smells really good. Oh, this is so cute. Like, I'm actually going to pull out the next two things just because they kind of go together. This one's processed, but it is a tea infuser. Can I open it? See how cute that is? So cute. So you just put your tea in here and then you hang it from your cup. Most people know how these things work, but still it is so cute. And then the next thing of course is a little thing of Earl Grey tea and this is in lavender. This one is um, like a normal tea bag, so it's not like tea leaves that you infuse. But I wonder how this is. I've never had lavender tea. Again, we've kind of talked about this. I'm not a huge, huge tea person. But I'm trying, so maybe this, maybe I'll find a tea that I really, really enjoy. We'll see. All right, this, I probably should have pulled this out first, but I was just too, too excited. So this is just, um, like talking about the book that they picked, which I'll talk about in a minute and why they picked it, and that the items that they pick reflect things from the story. So again, I don't do unboxings. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. The next things I'm going to show you are the prints that are sent with every letter. Uh, the first is the book that is was picked for this letter, and that is The Season by Sarah McLean. McLean, I think. I've never read the book, never heard of it, but again, I saw the spoilers and knew I just really needed it for the stuff. So, it is about a 17-year-old young lady uh, named Alexandra, and she's not interested in marriage, but of course her mother is determined to marry her off, and she's just more interested in adventure. So there's two best friends, Ellen and Vivi. Oh, this looks so cute, actually, and it is a scholastic book. It looks so cute, and the cover looks beautiful if this is the cover. So what's really cool is the um, curator and the creator behind the letters lit actually picks these books and they're her some of her favorites and this is one of her all time favorite books. So I might have to just check it out for maybe like the library and see how I enjoy it because it looks kind of fun and really cool and see where these items come into play. Next couple prints are so beautiful. So these prints are absolutely beautiful. I love them. They're so pretty. I love seeing the dresses because I love this time period and I love reading books around this time period. Their dresses are absolutely beautiful. So these prints are gorgeous. 
The last thing, and here I say the best for last because I'm so stinking excited about, excited about this, I can't speak. This pen is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. So pretty. So it's just this pen. But the, so it is this pen. So beautiful. So that was the last thing in the box, and I'm super excited about this. I'm sorry if it's kind of boring, you can't really tell. But it's heavy duty, it's nice. I'm so, so excited that I went ahead and got this box, or this letter. This was the January letter for 2018. They're starting their February letters, so those will go out. You can purchase them. Links will be down in the description, and I'm so, so, so excited about this. And if you follow, if you're on Instagram and you follow her, they talk about their reps where you can get discount codes. So that's definitely, definitely fun. The last thing that I'm going to be unboxing is actually a big box from Little Box of Joy. And what is really, really, really cool about this is Gretchen from Little Box of Joy. Again, stuff will be in the description box below. Little Box of Joy is a personalized uh, book box. So what happens is you order it, you pay, she has different levels and different size boxes, and she sends you a questionnaire and you fill it out and then she takes that questionnaire and she buys things according to your answers. So you can definitely personalize it and I did a, I told her that I only read Christian fiction, so she kind of did the book around. Uh, my likes, dislikes, what I don't read, but she picks up that I do read and do enjoy. And then once she reads over your questionnaire, she sends you a list of authors that she knows are from that um, genre or authors that she believes kind of go with what you like. She gives you a list and she asks if you read any of these authors and then you let her know and then she goes from there. So this is the first one I did, and I believe I got her smallest box, and I got it on sale. Um, and she's actually running a sale right now where all of her boxes and all of her items are 50% off. So that is something that you definitely, definitely, definitely want to get your hands on. Um, this box will come with one book, and then her medium-sized box comes with two books, I believe. And then her big box comes with... Two hardbacks or three paperbacks, I believe. Again, all this information is on her website. It's on her stuff, and it will all be linked in the description. So, without further ado, I'm going to open the package. Oh, it's so fancy! Look at all the worms. Worms. So there's a card with my name on it. It's hand um, her handwriting is gorgeous. Wish I could write like that. My cursive stinks, bro. Alright, so this is her logo right here. I'm pretty sure this letter just kind of gives what she chose and why she chose it. So I'm not going to read it yet. I'm going to read it when it's done. It's so cute. Oh, I love these. Okay, so they're just a pair of like knee-high socks. And I absolutely love these because if you don't know, I will tell you, I actually ride horses and I'm always in need of like knee high socks um, so that they're long enough so my boots don't rub on my legs. And these are super, super cute. I might just even keep these to wear them around the house. But I love how bright they are in one, like the opposite socks. I love these. Next thing I see is... Oh, this is so cute! Okay, so it's a a sticker that says, I'm no bookworm, I'm a book dragon. I love that. And then a uh, bookmark that says, just one more chapter. And literally, this is my life. I will definitely be using these. Oh, this is so sweet. It's a valentine. <gasps> This, it says, to Alicia from Gretchen. Uh, I said, I just thought this was super cute. Happy early Valentine's Day. I love this. Okay. So it 
has like hearts and a butterfly and it just says love and I'm, it's like a ruler and I'm sure you could probably use it as a bookmark but I'm pretty sure I had these growing up where you could actually use them as stencils. I definitely think it's super cute too and I love that it's like Valentine because it makes me... Because here's a fun fact about me actually. I was in public school until um, sixth grade. I started homeschooling in seventh grade. And I loved doing Valentine's when I was in elementary school. It's like one of my favorite things in the world. Ooh! It's a candle. This is from Geeky Girl Scents. And this is called Romance. And this is in the scent Peaches and Cream. Let's see. Oh my word, I'm, I'm gonna die. Mmm, this smells so good. So romancy. So this is in bubble wrap, so that intrigues me. And I think this might be like the last um, thing in the box. I can't remember. I think you get like four or five bookishy things. I'm not sure. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. It says love bravely on it. And it's just like a, a box to put pretty things in and I love this. This is gorgeous. This is super pretty. It's gorgeous. Ho oh, oh. ho. Guys, I'm going to set this down now because I'm going to drop it. That's what's going to happen. Okay, I think Oh wait, wait. There's something else down here. <gasps> Oh my word. <gasps> I promise this lady has like looked into my life and seen exactly what my room looks like. Because all of it's got like pinky themes and my room is literally pink. But guys, guys, it's a canvas with book pages. And it says book nerd on it a little flower and I love it. I'm not sure what this book is from but I just looked on top and it's from a Sarah J. Mass book. Mass? Mass. And I don't personally read her books. I've never read them. So I'm not sure what book this is from but I definitely love that it's it's still a book. Guys, it's beautiful. I it's so pretty I want to set it up somewhere. I love that. This is so cute. I definitely love this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is... Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is like her, um, her emblem, her thingy majigger. I'm not sure what it's called. Logo. Okay. But it's a little charm. Just the cutest thing. It's so adorable. And now... Now we will do the book. Okay. So this is Waterfall by Lisa T. Berggren. And this is the River of Time series. And this is the first book in the series. I have never heard of this book before. I feel like I've heard of this author before, but I've never read anything by her. So, the synopsis is, most American teenagers want a vacation in Italy, but the Bertinari, Bertinani sisters have spent every summer in their lives among the romantic hills with their archaeologist parents. Stuck among the rubble of medieval castles in rural Tuscany on yet another hot, dusty archaeological, archaeological site. Why can't I speak? Please forgive me. Gabby and Leah are bored out of their minds until Gabby places her hand atop a handprint in an ancient tomb and finds herself in 14th century Italy, and worse yet, in the middle of a fierce battle between knights of two opposing forces. 
Suddenly Gabby's summer in Italy is much, much more interesting. What do, you, what do you do when your knight in shining armor lives literally in a different world? <gasps> oh, this sounds fantastic. This definitely seems really cool. I'm trying to get more into dystopian type fantasy type retelling type different world typey books, I guess you can say, more YA stuff. So this is definitely something that I'll probably pick up and read. It looks really interesting and the cover is absolutely beautiful. So it's so, so cool. Definitely interested in this. So now I'm going to read the card and see why she picked this book and why she picked the stuff that was in the box. This is the coolest thing. Again, it's handwritten telling why she picked everything. And she picked Waterfall because, again, of my love for Christian fiction, I read it. And it's actually one of her favorites, so that's kind of cool. Um, the candle goes with the book because it is a romance, and the candle's name is Romance. And I am, you guys know, you guys know I'm all about a, a good romance. Uh, the socks because they're pink, and, you know, romance and all the things, and everybody knows I'm all for socks. And the glass box, she said that it brought Gabby to mind that she can see her saying something like love bravely. And that's just really, really cool. And again, I can't wait to dive in and read her character and see. And the butterfly charm is actually one of her new um, pieces for the store, or for her boxes. So I'm really excited that I got one. It's really pretty. And the stickers and bookmarks, of course, are just fun booky things. And she actually said that she made the canvas for me. Um, so it is handmade and that is so cool and I absolutely love it and I love everything and I'm so so excited. So those were my unboxings. It's a little different than a normal video. I hope you guys enjoyed them and it's a little different because it's not super, um, it's book related but not like Christian fiction book where I'm showing you books. It's just fun, interesting stuff and I hope you guys enjoyed these things. Let me know if you're subscribed to any boxes or if you have a favorite shop to on Instagram or even on Etsy. I would love to know. Again, all links will be in the description box below. And I'm really excited about all these things. I can't wait. You can catch me on my Instagram, which I've talked a lot about today. <laughs> it is for the love of Christian fiction. And I also talk about my blog on there as well, which is for the love of Christian Fiction, .blogspot.com. All my other links are in the description box below. And come chat with me. Come talk to me. Connect with me. I'd love to hear from you guys. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!